Hello, my name is Brian Stark. I'm a product manager at Google Cloud Platform. Today I'm going to talk to you about migrating your virtual machine to Google Compute Engine. First, I'll give you a brief introduction to Google Compute Engine. Then I will give you an overview of cloud migration. Then I will discuss different approaches one takes to migrating a Google Cloud Platform. And finally, I'll discuss using technology partners to assist your migration. So why run your virtual machine on Google Compute Engine? Well, there's three main reasons one would choose to run their virtual machine on Google Compute Engine. The first is Google Great Technology. So the ability to run your workload on the same infrastructure that powers the most trafficked website on the planet. The second is customer-friendly pricing. So we give you permanent billing after the first 10 minutes. We also have sustained use discounts, so the best price is applied automatically. We then have custom machine types, so you don't pay for more machine than you need. You get to specify exactly the number of cores and memory that you require. And we also have preemptive VMs, so big discounts are applied for distributed data processing jobs, where the loss of a few machines is not a major problem. And Google also has unmatched performance. So load balancing operates globally with no warm-up required. The best startup time in public cloud, under one minute. And live migration means that you never have to worry about the servicing of the hardware and software. We'll move it for you. So how does one move to the cloud? Cloud migration is a very complex topic, and there's a heterogeneous mix of ways one would actually move their systems to the cloud. So there's three main cloud landing points one would think of. Infrastructure as a service, or IaaS. Platform as a service, or PaaS. Or software as a service, SaaS. And then there's also three things that might move to the cloud. There's the data that one runs, there's also the application layer, and finally the operating system. And so Google supports migration in all these different heterogeneous ways to move to the cloud. Whether one wants to move simply data into IaaS, data into PaaS, or data into SaaS, there's different Google products that can support this migration. Often our customers are interested in moving the entire application stack. So the operating system, application, and data into IaaS. And we call that full stack migration into Google Compute Engine. There's also a continuum of migration completeness in terms of how fully one has actually moved their systems into the cloud. I want to talk through these briefly to explain the differences. So the first would be backup or archive. That is the least migrator where one just uses the cloud for cold storage, typically using a Google product like Nearline to store their data in the cloud. The second is business continuity or disaster recovery, where one creates a secondary data center on the cloud in the event the first one fails. The third would be development and test, where one creates a production environment in the cloud for developers to create additional services so that developers can use them without having to incur the cost of a second environment on-premises. Next, you have Cloudburst, where one uses the cloud as additional capacity for on-premises resources. Then you have hybrid operation, where the cloud is being used cooperatively with the on-premises environment, so that services are running in both locations. And finally, we have lift and shift. One moves the entire application and virtual machine into the cloud. There are a number of competencies required to move to the cloud. The first is assessment, where one discovers the application groups and dependencies existing on-premises, and creates move groups to move to the cloud. Next is staging migration, where one actually copies the bits to the cloud and ensures that they're up and running correctly. Then you have optimization, where one discovers the cost efficiencies that can be available and adjusts the cloud performance. Finally, you have ongoing management, where one continues to monitor the cloud deployment and makes ongoing changes to ensure operational success. So I want to talk to how people are actually moving to the cloud today. There's two main modes in which one would move to the cloud. The first is self-service, and the second is partner-assisted. Now I'll talk through the differences and why one might choose one or the other. In terms of the assessment phase, in self-service, what you would have is internal teams generating maps of application dependencies and network traffic. Whereas in a partner-assisted assessment phase, you deploy agents on the network and map server and network activity, automatically extracting application clusters. In the planning phase, a self-service migration would involve internal teams downloading cost models from public cloud vendors and creating complex spreadsheets modeling the cost. Teams would then estimate the best virtual resource to use. Whereas in partner-assisted, the partners would determine the appropriate machine types to handle existing workloads across multiple public cloud vendors, providing you with the best option. In terms of network configuration, in a self-service mode, teams would configure network rules to match their internal systems. Whereas in a partner-assisted mode, the partners would enable networking to match the existing topology. And then in terms of replication, in self-service, the teams would have to package up machines, images, using command line tools. Premium operating system licenses, such as Windows, would not be able to be migrated. Whereas with a partner, the partners would replicate the virtual machines into the cloud, accounting for the license transitions. I'd like to talk through the common challenges customers face in the assessment phase. The first is understanding the business rationale for moving a workload to the public cloud. Is it suitable for the cloud? Does it create business value in the cloud? And does it add a lot of IT burden while running in the cloud? 
Next one needs to understand the application dependencies and logical groupings in order to understand what needs to be moved to the cloud. Next, there are licensing challenges. Does the legacy operating system even run in the cloud? Can my application be licensed on the cloud or is it tied to physical resources that are acquired on-premises? Then one needs to map the on-premises resources to public cloud offerings. Thinking about core and memory constraints, storage equivalency, and configuring the network. So now I'd like to give an example of using a partner to assess business value. This is a screenshot from our partner Cloudomize, running an assessment of a workload moving to Google Cloud Platform. Here you can see the partner has identified the cost and the different platforms one needs to migrate to when running in Google Cloud, including the total annual cost of running the platform and which resources need to be instantiated on Google Cloud to make it all happen. Here's a second screenshot from Cloudomize showing application group mapping. So what Cloudomize has been able to do is map out the communication between different systems within the network showing what needs to be moved together logically to make a cloud transition happen. The network has identified how servers talk to each other, group them together, and enable them to be moved in blocks. Next, I'd like to talk to the challenges encountered in migrating virtual machines. The first is packaging up the virtual machine or physical host for migration. Next is configuring the appropriate host on the public cloud vendor. Then one has to migrate the software licenses, which includes switching from the on-premises to cloud-based licensing, or bringing your own license into the cloud. Next, you need to stand up the network configuration. And finally, you need to do this all in a timely manner to ensure business continuity. So now I'm going to walk through a few screenshots of using a partner to connect on-premises to the cloud. This you see is a screenshot from our partner Cloud Endure, showing how one actually connects their migration tool to a cloud instance. This screenshot shows how you configure the application instance, including selecting the actual instance size to be deployed in the cloud. And finally, this screenshot shows how one actually moves to the cloud. An agent's deployed on-premises, and then the machine shows up in the cloud. In order to help everyone understand how to move to the cloud, we're happy to announce cloud.google.com slash migrate. This is a landing home for all of our customers to come and learn about our different solutions for cloud migration. So we've identified three planning and assessment partners to help you move to the cloud. The first is Cloudomize, an agent-based discovery and migration tool. Cloudomize is commonly used for TCO-sensitive customers looking for feature risk reporting and they're open to agent-based discovery. We also have Risk Networks, an agentless discovery and migration planning tool with a focus on network discovery, mapping, and visualization. This is commonly used in complex customer topologies, typically due to large legacy environments which are sensitive to agents and require professional services and partners. Adadata integrates agentless discovery and virtual machine migration tools with add-on professional services support. This is commonly used in services-heavy discovery and virtual machine migration engagements. We've identified two migration partners. Cloud Endure has a lightweight agent-based solution that's ideal for self-service engagements. Sureline has a snapshot-based migration solution that's ideal for large and complex workloads that require professional services. So in summary, cloud migration is a complex topic that requires thoughtful analysis to accomplish efficiently. While many of our customers aspire to do this on their own, there are a number of common pitfalls. To help you through these, Google has vetted a number of technology partners. We believe this will ultimately save you time and money, and we've created cloud.google.com slash migrate as a place to learn about these solutions and begin your journey to the cloud. Thank you so much for your time and attention today, and we hope to see you in the cloud. Mm -hmm.